Hey there, in this video we're going to continue studying matrices and so we're going to work with addition and subtraction of matrices and also solving some equations. But let's review a little bit. So the dimensions of a matrix, so these are both two by two matrices. So it has, they have two rows and two rows and two columns. So we say that the dimension is two by two and that's for both of them. And so what if I asked, what is the entry what is the AIJ entry? So this refers to the entries in the matrix A. So if I say A21, what is that equal to? So the two refers to the row, so the second row, and one is the columns. So I wanna go to second row, first column, so the entry a to one will be zero. So I'm looking at this one. So second row and first column. Okay, so for this one, if I wanted the entry entry B12, what would that equal? So B1, so that means the first row. And second column. So that will be that one. So I'll say B12 is equal to 1. Alright, so now to addition and subtraction. So for addition and subtraction of matrices, we have to have the same dimensions. So these are both 2 by 2s, so then that's okay. So if when I say A plus B, I will have my matrix 2, 0, negative 5, 7, matrix A plus matrix B. So 3, 2, 1, negative 1. And the reason that they need to be the same dimension is because we add them by corresponding entries. So my A plus B matrix is going to be the entries, the sum of the entries in the first row, first column. So 2 plus 3, which is 5. The entries in the first row, second column, corresponding entries, so negative 5 plus 1, so that will be negative 4, 0 plus 2 is 2, and 7 minus 1 is 6. So that will be the sum of the two matrices, A plus B. Now if I wanted to do, now if we do B plus A, we should get the same thing. Addition remains commutative. So, but what if I did B minus A? So B minus A, I'm going to write matrix B first, so 3, 2, 1, negative 1, minus A, 2, 0, negative 5, 7. And same thing, we subtract corresponding entries. So for my first entry, it will be first row, first column. So I, I look at 3 and 2, those are both in the first row, first column. So 3 minus 2, because I'm subtracting, so I'm going to do, I'm going to spell out the math in this one. So for the second one, my second entry is in still in row 1, column 2, so it'll be 1 minus a minus 5. And I do the same for the other entries. So 2 minus 0, and negative 1 minus 7 figure out what this matrix is. So B minus A would be 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 minus a minus 5, so that's 1 plus 5, which is 6, 2 minus 0 is 2, and negative 8. And that would be B minus A. Just like with real numbers, Subtraction is not commutative, so if I do A minus B, I should not get the same thing. It should be something different. So if we do A minus B, so can we do it without writing it all out? So it will be A minus B, so it will be 2 minus 3, so it's actually negative 1. Then negative 5 minus 1, so it's negative 6. 0 minus 2, so negative 2. And 7 minus a minus 1, so 7 plus 1, which will be 8. So essentially we get the opposite, opposite signs, but notice that they are not the same. Let's try another example. 
say now our matrix A is, let's say, 3, 1, 1 half, negative 1, and 5, 3. And B is 3, negative 2, 1, 2. Can I find the sum of these matrices? So can I do A plus B? And notice that I can't because the dimension of the matrix A is, this is a 2, so I always do the, the rows first. So it has 2 rows and 3 columns. But the dimension of matrix B is a 2 by 2. So we can't add them because we don't have corresponding entries, right? Okay, I will do 3 plus 3, 1 half plus 1, but then this, the, five, the third column, 5 and 3, they don't have anything to be added with. So this one is not possible. So A plus B is not possible. B would have to be also a 2 by 3 matrix, matrix. They have to be the same dimension in order for us to be able to do the addition or subtraction. So now solving for a matrix. So you may see something like, let's say let the matrix A be a 3 by 2. So 2, 1, 0, and 3, 0, 2. So this is it has three rows, so it's a 3 and 2 columns. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix. And let's let matrix B be also a 3 by 2. So let's say 15, 30, 10, 25, 20, and 0. And one of the tasks we maybe ask, ask you to do is find the matrix A. Sorry, matrix X, capital X. 4, 5, X minus A equals B. So you kind of have an equation with matrices. So we will solve it just as you would a regular equation in with algebra. So I would want to do, so I want to solve for x. So that means we want to isolate the x. So what does that mean we need to do? We need to get rid of the 5. So divide both sides by 5 or multiply by 1 fifth. So we'll have x minus a is equal to 1 fifth b. And then to get x all by itself, add a to both sides. So I'm going to have the matrix x then is 1 fifth b plus a. And now plug in what the matrices are. So I'm going to have x is equal to 1 fifth b. And b was that 3 by 2 matrix, 15, 30, 10 in the first column. And the second column was 25, 20, and 0, plus matrix A. So matrix A is over here, 2, 1, 0 in the first column, and 3, 0, 2 in the second column. And now we perform those operations. So when I have a constant outside of a matrix, I can just put that constant into every entry. So 1 fifth times 15. So we're essentially dividing every entry by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 0 divided by 5 is 0. So that's my 1 fifth B. And now plus A. 2, 1, 0. 3, 0, 2. And so when we add these, do they have the same size, the same dimensions? Yes. This is a 3 by 2 and a 3 by 2. So we're good. So we are going to have corresponding en entries. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 0 is 2. And 0 plus 2 is, again, 2. So this will be the solution to the matrix X. In the next video, we're going to be doing multiplication of matrices.